what's on my beautiful Bruce Beauty Maniac here, and we have a lot of games today, so we're gonna make this relatively quick. Um, went three and zero oh yesterday for a total of thirty six and eighteen record, which is sixty six percent, which I think is pretty good. With eleven games today, that's probably gonna sink to probably nearly sixty percent because we're gonna get a lot wrong today. Um, Minnesota at Philadelphia. I'm picking Philadelphia to win this one, obviously, and bead. Simmons, I think they got more to work with overall, and they're playing in Philadelphia where the 76ers are a much stronger team, so I think they win. Then you got Chicago at Cleveland. I'm picking Cleveland at home. ESPN Power Index has them at a 55% chance to win, but the spread favors Chicago. I'm picking Cleveland because I think Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson are a better combo than what Chicago has to offer on the board. And you have the Knicks at Orlando Magic. I'm picking the Orlando Magic to win this one. Um, Knicks looking to have back-to-back -back wins, for the, which is something they only did, like, what, three times last year? I think it should be a good game nonetheless. I also think it should be close. So, although I do think Orlando wins, the spread currently is at 10. I think the New York Knicks cover that. And they have Detroit at Toronto. I like Toronto in this one. I trust Gasol a little bit more than I... Well, although... I'll just say this. I love Drummond, but I trust the depth of Toronto more, and they are at home, so I think that is an advantage for them. Then you get India Brooklyn. <laughs> the, Kyrie, the Kyrie Irving drama in Brooklyn is hilarious. I'll say that. But I think the shooting will be more consistent from the supporting cast, so I think that will help. And Indy being that... Their guard play should be much inferior to Brooklyn. I think we'll be just outmatched. And then you have Boston and Milwaukee picking Milwaukee at home. Obviously, Boston doesn't really have anything for Giannis. No Jalen Brown. No Enos Cantor. There's not much Boston can do against Giannis and Lopez. Portland OKC. I'm picking Portland on the road. I think they will have better shooting. Houston, Washington. This is the game I think James Harden breaks out of his slump which should be good. Clippers, Jazz, Jazz are favored, but I'm picking the Clippers in the upset. So my two upset picks today are technically the Clippers at the Jazz, which the Jazz being heavily favored is very interesting. We have technically Cleveland or Chicago if you're talking about the spread, but I'm not going to count that. But then you have... Charlotte at Sacramento. Oh, by the way, Utah is the best defensive team, and the Clippers are the best offensive team so far this year, so it's going to be a good game. Still picking the Clippers, though, because I trust Kawhi Leonard to overcome. And you got Sh Charlotte at Sacramento. Sacramento is favored here by, I believe, six and a half, seven points. I think they'll win this one. It should be a good game. The, I'm interested to see how Buddy Heal does. It should be very telling. And then you have Phoenix versus Golden State. I th I believe Golden State was favored. Let me check real quick. Yeah, Golden State's favored by five. I'm still picking Phoenix to win this one. If you look at the game so far this season, Golden State has allowed an average of 128 points per game, while Phoenix is scoring 114. I don't know why I just like Phoenix, Phoenix as a dark horse this year. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Peace.